Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, I have some tropical tea for you. I'm officially back, girl. It is so happy. I'm, I'm so happy that I'm able to say that I am officially back. Not because I didn't have a good time. I had an amazing time in Colombia. And guys, you will be watching my travel vlogs on my other YouTube channel, The Real Real Andy, which you need to check out. I just uploaded my travel vlog from Greece. So, girl, that was a lot of fun. But anyways, I am back um, because it was it was a heavy situation. I mean, it was a lot, uh, you know filming wise like i wasn't able to put videos like i think my last video was what like four days ago probably five days ago i was like dying because so much tea was happening like the worst part is like i had access to the tea but i didn't have access to put it out there it was so frustrating but anyways now i'm here and now i'm ready to give you all the tea that you love and now mm -mm -mm, it is time to talk about our girls, the real housewife of Miami, because this season is fire, okay? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank button right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, meal. No. Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> Miami is happening. I have I, I'm not all caught up on Miami, so this is not going to be like a, a recap or anything like that. <clears throat> but girl, these girls are happening okay between the new feud of alexia versus gordy and lisa versus larsa and like girl so many things are happening it it's shaping to be an incredible great season guys so you better already be having peacock okay because i'm gonna be recapping you know miami as soon as i finish Girl, I have to watch Potomac, Salt Lake, and Miami. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, it is it is really, really, really good. And now we have some little pieces of tea here and there that we definitely need uh, to discuss. So, let's start with um, Alexia. So, as you know, Alexia is having this whole thing with Gordy. Now, Alexia went on in an interview, and she spilled all the tea about you know Gordy and even about like uh, Ultimate Girls Trip and she also talked about the coming appearance of Miss uh, Leah Black, right? So she she told ET that uh, Gordy and Nicole uh, let fame and money to get to their heads. Okay, um, look, what can we say about this? I feel, especially, look, I like I like Nicole a lot. I am still trying to get Gordy. Like, I don't really get her. Um, and I really didn't enjoy a lot of her last season. She was a little bit too intense. Now, with fame, I don't know. I, I will have to watch their behavior, okay, to see how this is going to play out. Um yeah, everyone changed. Everyone changed when you know you started to get recognized. People know who you are. People start like texting you. Um, the only thing that I have to say is that I have reached out to both of these ladies, and the only one who has actually reached back has been Nicole. And Nicole, she's actually a very nice. You know, we talked for a little bit. She was a very nice girl, and. Uh, <clears throat> That give her points because there is nothing worse than someone who they already think that they are Kim Kardashian. And it's like, bitch, you are have been here for like a season. OK, so like mm, learn who you are. All right. Uh, on the other side, Nicole, I mean, she she was super pleasant. You know, she was nice. Uh, she answered some of my questions, you know, and 
we just have fun. And that's the only thing that you have to do is like being normal. Okay, just because you are on a reality show doesn't mean that you are now the queen of England and people need to request an audience with you. You know what I mean? So I don't know about Nicole. Now, Gordy, I mean, there is definitely a feud going on between Alexia and Gordy, you know, and I know that's probably going to making a big part of of why Alexia is, um, you know, reacting the way she is. Now, she's also certain, saying that Gertie used her for a season four storyline, meaning that, you know, that Alexia is, I think it's very hard by the fact that Gertie wasn't able to give her the wedding that she wanted to. And I think she thinks that Gertie was just like, oh, yeah, I will do your wedding. But in, at, at the same time, she was just trying to make everything wrong so she could have a storyline. Let's be honest here, guys. I feel honestly that Gertie, at least last season, didn't really have a storyline. You know, like she was like trying to make something happen out of thin air. Now, if you ask me, and if if they bring Gertie just because of diversity, um, I would just give the mojito to Kiki because Kiki is very funny. She is, she can be very confrontational. She knows what she's doing and she deserves to be more than just a friend of the show. I will actually put Gertie as a friend of the show and give Kiki the mojito. That's what I'm thinking. Now, she's also saying that she will definitely want vacation again with Leah McSweeney. And apparently next season three of uh, Ultimate Girl Strip is going to be, there is going to be a lot of drama. Initially, I didn't thought too much about it because when I saw the cast, I was like, what? But now with the thing that I'm hearing, girl, I mean, I'm definitely going to be down to watch this season because it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. And we know that Leah McSweeney did a lot of drama over there. So I'm curious to see why Alexia is saying these kind of things. And, you know, and about Leah Black, we all know that she doesn't like Leah Black at all. OK, and she's like, Leah Black needs to shut up. She needs to just leave the show. She thinks that Leah has been trashing the show all the time and she doesn't understand why Leah is now out of nowhere deciding to film, why she didn't could just help Lisa outside of the camera, that she was just looking for a moment. Now, weirdly enough, Adriana DeMora went on another interview and she actually said that even though she doesn't have a relationship with Leah, her son and, and uh, Leah's son are actually very close and uh, um, Leah invite him to something, um, you know, and, and Adriana texts her, thanking him, you know, and she said that he will always be welcome. So, like, there is some kind of door open for a reconciliation and to, like, pick up the, the friendship uh, where they left her before. I don't know. Everything is, like, a little bit weird. Um, do you think that Leah is kind of like trying to go around finding a way to get back in the show? That's interesting, you know? Honestly, it's not like I don't really have any preconceptions about Leah or any of the ladies because the show ended up like eight, like nine years ago. So I have no, I, I don't remember many of the things that happened on the th first three seasons. And it's like, girl, it was so long ago that we just need to come with fresh, a fresh set of eyes, especially because people can change over a decade. Okay. So I don't know if they decided to bring her back. I will be like, let's just see what, where this go, for, you know, now, last but not least, Miss Elisa Hochstein, you know, and everything that is happening with her girl. It's a mess. It's a mess. We're going to be doing another video about the hot mic moment and what is going on, um, you know, legally wise with her. Uh, but she's definitely not letting Lenny get away with anything. And that's going to be interesting to watch. So anyways, that's what we know so far about all ladies of the Real House of Miami. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.